All right, ladies and gentlemen, people from across the world, people that are probably right from Tom's River. Here we go. This is the next drawing. It is called the field assignment. You will notice that the field is like a soccer field. And that is what we are going to create with the six yard line for the goalie, the 18 yard line, the PK lines, the goals, and even something that looks a little like a net. That's called a hatch pattern. We'll talk about that later. Uh, one thing I will point out, this is not a full size soccer field. We are trying to fit inside of our title block. And my students, you guys don't have not learned how to scale things yet. So at this point, we are just going to draw something that is just like the last drawing we did. It's eight inches wide by five and a half inches tall. Okay. Now take note, the eight inches, this is where it starts to get a little tricky. You have to look at the arrows and see what it's really pointing to. This is not pointing to the back of the net, which would really be the widest point. It's pointing to just the field and then we'll add the net on later. Generally, when I do my dimensions, I'll do it on the biggest rectangle that I can find within the drawing. And sometimes it'll get a little trickier than that and you have to like almost have an imaginary rectangle, which we'll talk about later on drawings like the fireplace. Okay, uh, so here we go. We're going to create this. So I need a title block first. For me, I'm just going to make a copy of this. You guys are going to open up your title block. I am going to erase everything that's inside and I will start with my diagonal. Now before I go any further you will notice also that I changed the size of the side title block text. I made these I think a half inch apart so now this only takes up one inch on the right. The reason why I did that is that this drawing got pretty tight and it started touching our title block. So I would say for all of our drawings going forward you're going to want to just fix that and do an offset of one half. Uh, sorry, this is only one half total. So you're going to do an offset of one fourth, right? And that'll get you to here and then one fourth from there. So it's only a half inch. It's only taking up a half inch on the right side of the drawing. Everything else is exactly the same. Don't forget to ch change block to say field. Don't forget to change the date to the date that you actually print the drawing. That way when I see it, I know when, okay? Um, so here we go. We need a construction line that's X line. We'll put that at the midpoint and we'll have one be straight up and down and one left to right. If you don't receive a midpoint when you're trying to draw the X line, go to OS enter and make sure that midpoint is checked on. The ones that I have for, ob this is called object snap or OS. I have endpoint, midpoint, center. I like intersection and I like tangent. Everything else is uh, pretty irrelevant to me until probably later on in other drawings. Okay. So hit OK on that. We now have our beginning lines. Now we look for the box size at its widest point. Now, widest point, I'm saying that meaning like at the field's widest point, it is eight by five and a half. So what I'll do is I'll do half of those numbers. If these arrows are pointing left to right on the eight, then our offset of four, which is half of eight, is going to go left to right. This is pointing up and down five and a half inches, half of five and a half. If you need to take a second, get a calculator, use your fingers, split your fingers in half, whatever you got to do. That is going to be 2.75. So offset 2.75. You can also type that as two and three quarters. It's totally up to you. That's going to be your up and down. I like to take a fillet radius zero. I like to hit multiple. And that's going to clean up these corners. Two clicks. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. I don't really need these anymore, but I am going to put a line down the middle, which is going to be like the 50 yard line. Okay, we can also do the circle in the center. That's a radius three quarters. This drawing can be done in any order that you would like. You don't have to follow my order. And honestly, I like you guys to try this on your own before you resort to using the video. Uh, eventually my videos will not walk you through every single step. They'll walk you through less and less as we are doing things that are, you know, a little more advanced and you guys have learned enough to do it on your own. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create one side of this and then I'm going to mirror it over. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make this goal out here. Uh, the goal, you have to look around for this, is a half inch tall. Okay. So you can see from this to this is one half inch. And then we need to know how far it sticks out, which would be from here to here. Sometimes you got to look around to find those dimensions. One quarter of an inch. So the way I like to draw this is off the midpoint. I go one fourth of an inch. This is actually just a reference line somewhere to start, or I call them dummy lines. Uh, they will be things that are always erased later on. 
offset. What is half of one half? So if it's going to be one half total, half of that is one fourth, and that will be your up and down measurement, and then you do not need this. I now am going to take a line and connect the back. I could do my hatch pattern right now. Again, the order doesn't matter. Hatch pattern is going to bring you into a new set of tools here. If you're on 2017, 18, 19, 20 software, it's all going to look pretty much like this. I like to arrow down, find this ANSI 37, which looks like a goal or a net, I should say, and then click it inside and hit enter. So now you're done with your hatch pattern. If you want to build both and do that at the same time, that's fine too. But I'm just going to make one side and then mirror them all over. Okay. Uh, next thing, I'm going to start at the midpoint here, and I'm going to draw out to get the goal box. Same exact way. I don't see any dimensions over here. I mean, I could add these three up, or I could look on the other side and see that it is one half, one and one half inch tall. And then I can also see by this dimension that it is a half inch going forward. So really the same way if I go a half inch forward, I now need to know what half of one and a half is. So when I do my offset, half of one and a half is 0.75. That goes 0.75 up, 0.75 down. Again, this was just a reference line. It was a point to start, but now we don't need it anymore. Take a line, connect these. Now we're gonna do the 18 yard line. We can start from the same point since those lines go out on those points too. How far out do I go? I gotta look around for some dimensions. I see one and a half up here. That's how far that will go out before it comes across and then before it goes back. So one and one half inches is how far I'll go this way. 1.5 or one and one half, totally up to you. And then my offsets will be, if you're looking here, let's see, where do we got it? Yeah, we have it over here. You gotta add some things up here. So I've got one plus one and a half plus one. So I don't have a true dimension to show me the width of this and you're not gonna have my drawing in front of you in order to dimension it. But if you add those together, you do get three and a half. So half of three and a half, I would say is 1.75. 1.75 up, 1.75 down. Always check your work. If you're not sure if it's exactly half, make sure that you got the dimensions correctly. And then erase the dummy line. Connect. Okay, where's the PK line? We can't draw these little arcs until we have the PK line because that is the center. On the text that I have written here in the notebook that you guys are probably looking at right now, it says to use the PK lines as the center of the 18 yard line arcs. So we need that line first. It is 1 8 inch tall, which means that if we're going to be starting with a dummy line at the center, we're going to go half of that, which is 1 16th up, 1 16th down. Sorry, I'm just checking my video. Uh, how far out is that? Well, you can see it's pretty much right in the center, but we can't really guess like that. So we're still going to see that it is one half inch and then one half inch. So I can do offset one half this way or offset one half that way. It does not matter. So whoop, let me go back to the new one. Offset one half inch. You can go off of this line. Now that line is obviously too long. So if I start again with a dummy line and this line could be however long you want, it doesn't matter but you're gonna go offset half of 1 8th because 1 8th is the length of the entire line. So 1 16th, 1 16th up, 1 16th down. Erase the dummy line and then trim the line that's too long and then erase the other dummy line. So in that case, we had three dummy lines total just to get the sides of the PK line. Now we can go in and do our, uh, excuse me, radius circle at the midpoint and you're gonna make this the same size as the middle one, three quarters. The only thing is I'm gonna do an old school trim. You don't have to do this. You can do a quick trim one, two, three, or you can do an old school just trim enter and then click on the line that you wanna trim it at, hit enter, and then anything to the left of that, I can click anywhere I want. You'll see that that will trim off. So that side's done. Now, in order to mirror something across or just go build it the same way or build it all at the same time, totally up to you. I like to take everything and I'll do a little blue box around this too because I don't want to get this line, that line, that line. I don't want to do anything with the circle because it's already full. You do mirror and you just got to tell it that you want to go down the center. So you only need two points here. I can do one and then I could click right here. I could click there, 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 there. It doesn't matter, but just show it that it's a vertical line. That way it will flip over top of that line. And then it says, do you want to erase the source? You do not. You want to leave the source alone and you want to just make a copy of it. So you hit no. This field is done. 
The only thing is you got to do some dimensions and some line weights. So let's select everything. We'll go up to the line weights. We'll put 0.7s. I will walk you through a couple of the dimensions. Maybe I'll do the top set because that's probably the hardest set. Um, but you guys know that at this point since the last drawing, and if you don't remember this, you have to go back to the last drawing, that we have two lines of dimensions generally, which means our offsets that we do in order to place those dimensions at exact points is 3 eighths of an inch and then 1 fourth of an inch. All right, so um, looking back at the other drawing here, you will see I'm going to do this set up here. These are at 3 eighths and these are at 1 fourth. I see a 1 and 1 fourth. I see a 2 and a half. So you have to follow these arrows and look for the space. The space is the corner that it's drawing off of. That means that the dim linear is going off of here, but it's not going off of here. There's nothing there, but it, travel it down and you'll see the space and it's going to go off of there. That's what's going to give you the one and a half. So going back to this one, dim linear, I'm saying, hey, from the flag, from the corner of the field to the outside of the 18 yard line here, going on the first line, that is one and a half. And then the next thing I have is I have going from that 18 to the 50, connecting at the same line is two and a half. Now over here, you guys remember from the beginning, the depth, I don't want to go here, I want to put it on the corner. I want to know from the corner to the back of the net here, that's going to the first line, it's one fourth. And then you can skip one if you want and go from here to here. Again, there's nothing over here, so you got to get these points. Uh, I messed up, sorry. From here to the PK line, that's going to be at the same depth. From here to the goalie box is going to be the second line. And from the PK line to the 18 yard line is going to be the second line. So now I'm done at the top. I can erase all of these lines. I could do a big blue box if I want. Or I could just, in this case, select in here since there's nothing here that I will accidentally select. Delete. I want you to do the same thing out here. Make sure you go off the back of the goal. 3 8 1 4 the first line in here could be a Q dim, where you select one, two, three, four, five, six. You hit enter and you go out and you click it on the three eighths line. You erase the three eighths line. Then the next one will be a dim linear from here to here, and that will go on the second line. Make sure that if you have two dimensions that are on top of each other later like this, that you take the outside one and move that up a little bit. That way it's not confusing. You'll see what I mean when you do it. Uh, bottom one's easy. There's just a 4 and an 8. Very simple. These two lines, 3 eighths, 1 fourth. This is the first one just from corner to corner. This is the second from there to the corner and from the corner to there. Together they equal 1 and a half, which we already have over here, but we need to know the size of the goal. At that point, you will be pretty much done. Oh, we got to do the radiuses too. So I'll do two of those. I'll do one of them. Um, go back here. You'll see radius. I don't care where these go when they're insides. You just click them anywhere. Click the circle. Click it anywhere. Click the circle. I guess I'll do three. Click them anywhere. And then do not forget that there is a small dim linear on one of, and I don't care if this is three eighths or not. Put it anywhere just so I can read the number uh, on the PK line. Okay. So boom, the drawing's done. You do a couple more dimensions and you are all set. I hope that this is pretty easy for you guys because it's just a very simple soccer field. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Nah, you don't have to. See ya.